welcome to Friday the 13th of October. I have just had the hair done. Oh, I love it. Nice and fresh. Um, so today's Friday and I just did my usual. I did a, an amazing class with Karen. Um, Metafit class. Let me do a bit of abs at the end. Then I went back and I did... Well, I did Queen Axe. Actually, it was a cover today. And again, it's supposed to be a circuits class. Well, I suppose Queen Axe is a circuit class. David took it, so that was another amazing class. Now I'm going to go home and film my um, final pre-mark haul, <laughs> which you should have seen by the time this goes up. And yes, what happens when I come down to get my hair done, nails done or anything like that? I go home with something new. There we go. This will be... On the pre-mark haul and all will be revealed on the pre-mark haul but you know what i really enjoy i got a good read of my book at the hairdressers today right let's go home and have our pea and pork casserole i've not eaten anything yet i've not broken my fast i'm gonna go home and do that right now i'll, do, I'll show you my outfit this is basically the outfit that i wear every time when i go to the hairdressers it was actually my hairdresser today that washed my own hair because she's got new staff in and she didn't want anybody else washing my hair because <laughs> i'm not gonna say i'm fussy <laughs> but that's just the amazing treatment i go and that's why i've been going there for years and years and years right enough okay so this was today's outfit so it is the boots from rita Ora. it's my old jeans from carmel an old 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 pre-mark top that was a wee jacket I picked up from TK Maxx a few years back and I must have stored it incorrectly in the wardrobe so I'm going to have to make sure I sort this out. So, that's the outfit. Also, also my ID card has arrived but interestingly enough this was supposed to be signed for and it was just put in our letterbox. Naughty, naughty. Naughty, look, it says signed for. Nobody rang the bell, they just left it. They should not have left it. That's Royal Mail for you, basically. Got this because it just makes things easier for me because I have property and land in Cyprus, so it just makes life easier if I have one of these. If I have an ID, a separate ID number, basically, that's why I applied for it. As simple as that. She's yeah. recon is gym gym gear, recon is gym gear, recon is shift gear. Right, I'm gonna go and eat, I'm gonna break my fast. What time is it? It's probably five o'clock. Five o'clock and I have not eaten a thing yet, people. Oh, oh I don't believe breakfast. that. But apart from his breakfast and his lunch and I'm all of that. Yeah. We are home, we are ready to film. We have my latest <laughs> my latest Primark hall sitting there. Got my little rose on, which is also from Primark. Got my jumper on, which is also from Primark. See, <laughs> I have a whispering angel, which is not from Primark. I have refreshed my makeup. I just basically put makeup, ever makeup, and um, I'm ready. I'm ready to do all of this. I don't know where I'm gonna start. I have to get into that kind of mode. That <laughs> Filming would have had my dinner, had my pea casserole, which was very, very nice. Now I'm going to just trying to hype myself up, hype, psych, whatever the word is, up for filming for the hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Andrea. <laughs> oh man, people, it's hard. It's hard. I, I enjoy it once I get into the flow. Once I get past, you know how many times I have to say hello and welcome to my channel. Do you know, honestly, on repeat, even that I get wrong. It just, I think, oh, that sounds flat. Oh, that doesn't sound, oh, no. And then when I'd say the next bit, oh, anyway, you don't want to know all that. But this is Friday. Did I tell you it was Friday the 13th? Lucky for some, unlucky for others, and some just don't even care. <laughs> this is, you know, like when you go to shows and things and you have, you know, the, the comedian that's supposed to psych up. Is this psych up, hype up, psych up? Well, I don't know. The audience, da 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 da, to get them going. This is what I'm doing to myself. <laughs> right, should we get started? Oh, we need to fix all this neckline here. We need to show some of this. And some of this. We need to show the full effect. I've actually, look, 
oops i've actually look I'm lazy people lazy <laughs> could just take them off because this is actually a strapless bra has that look <laughs> right am i too low right i'll sort it and i'll come back mm. <laughs> This is what's gone on before the pre-mark haul, but the pre-mark haul is going to go up before this. So when you have watched the pre-mark haul, no, this is what's been going on beforehand. <laughs> Good morning, my people. Welcome to Saturday the, what is it? It's the 14th, Saturday the 14th. I am just getting ready because this morning I actually gave the gym a miss. I always miss the gym on a, on a Saturday when I've had my hair done the day before because I don't see the point of going and getting it sweaty. I try and get as many days out of it as possible. So I'm just going to put my skincare on now. So I've, I've cleansed and everything and toned and all of that. So I'm just going in with Hyalu B5. This is the eye treatment that I use. Go in with that. This is, uh, I think this is the, yeah, La Roche Posay. It's nearly finished actually. I'm needing skincare. So I'll just, I'll just put that on there. And I love the bobble thing of that as well. Just put that on. And I've run out of my La, La Roche Posay. Was it? Yeah. La, La Roche Posay. La Roche. La Roche Posay serum so i'm back using that's my next one. i'm back using my estee lauder perfectionist pro i had some of this left because remember i stopped using all of this when i had that oral dermy oral peri peri oral dermatitis <laughs> so if you haven't seen that video i'll link that below for you so i'm just going to put that in and take it all the way down to my neck there we go so today's plan is i want to make those cracker things again it has been requested jules just for you i'm going to make them on camera to show what i actually use because it was one of the ingredients i couldn't find so you know me i always adapt to recipes so that's that i normally let that sink in before i go in with my moisturizer so also I finished my book this morning. <laughs> it's only been about three years since I've been reading it. You know that book that Rico says, oh, we're taking that big heavy thing again. So I finished it off this morning. So I decided, well, I'm not going to the gym. I'm just going to lie in bed and finish reading my book because I'd started reading it at the hairdressers yesterday and I got into it again. So I read some last night after I did my editing. And then um, this morning I just finished the book off. So that's it done so i've had a really nice morning i have hoovered i have cleaned my bathrooms i have done all of that um but so i want to film a shorts video with the dress that i'm going to put on now make those crack things but rico's cooking downstairs i know it's saturday but he's got a function on a do he's cooking he's got a private do on and he's cooking all the stuff and taking it to them so he's busy in the kitchen and i went downstairs and um i'm like i'm not gonna be able to bake my biscuits in here now see that ice serum that i just showed you i really think it works i really think it's good but see when i put it on like now it's tacky and i hate that it feels as if it emphasizes my wrinkles and then i just go in I'm going in with the cerave facial moisturizing lotion so i am going to repurchase all these things again i'm not going back oh look this one's finished as well I don't know if I want to film an empties video as well today because the bin is overflowing. Oh, and then go. I take it all the way down there. <laughs> so there we go. All right, we'll let that all sink in, and then I'm going to do the makeup. People, is what I'm going to do. Not a good idea to pick up a cup when you've got moisturizer all over your hands. Cheers. So I'm going to wear, I'm going to do a shorts video on my Rita Ora dress because I feel you can dress it up just then. That's what, actually what I'm going to wear today in the house. <laughs> it's what I'm going to wear, people. Okay, right. 
let's put the moisturizer back and up here i keep my everyday makeup see what an organized person i am with my brushes and all of that so it's just like my everyday things that i need right a steel order we have double wear and there we go and then i get the applicator from flawless filter there's no flawless filter left but i like the applicator because it because i can get into all my nooks and crannies when the foundation is on its last legs which is what it is just now on the last legs <laughs> there's hardly anything in there people but honestly i am scraping it out my old faithful that's in the color tawny by the way right i'll finish this off and we'll chat again okay. i have filmed my shorts video i have put my washing out i have finished Ooh. i have finished my makeup by the way see when i went out to put my uh, washing out it is baltic but it's like typically autumnal we're loving the word aren't we autumnal I'm sick of hearing that word okay this is what i'm wearing just now so i just put the jumper over my dress for warmth because i went outside but i really like that look actually so comfortable this dress is so comfortable boots are st lying down there that's the boots i was wearing with the dress which i love that's the wedged ones love them with the dress oh just love 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 there's the washing out right do you want to see the mess in my kitchen would you like to see what's going on in there people like the workspace here i mean i mean honestly but anyway rico when alexa stop so Rico went and picked up um, from that bakery, that nice niche bakery that he goes to, picked up some apple cinnamon, what are they? Kind of, they look like wee pie things, don't they? Oh, look at this. That's his Saturday treat that he likes. And the bread as well is in here, which I'm going to have a slice off just now with two fried eggs. But it's there but seriously i mean where am i gonna fry eggs anyway i think i'm gonna get my biscuits ready now that he's not using the oven and i can put them in because he's got two trays of lasagna here to cook off as well oh, it's absolutely crazy when he's cooking that's why i just normally stay out here because it makes me feel looking at it all like this oh look here's the chef himself there he is See how moody he is? Typical chef. This is his box where he kind of transfers, transfers, transports the food. It's in here, so it either keeps things really hot or really cold. <laughs> so yeah. Oh look, chef's eating. Are you going to um are you gonna heat it up for them? Or are they heating it up themselves? Are you taking it hot? Oh it's yeah. taking it hot, right, okay. He's tasting his lasagna sauce. Okay, I've managed to get into this little corner here of the kitchen so I can make the healthy crackers. So, Jules, this one is for you, baby. <laughs> right, here are the ingredients. And remember, I have linked the original recipe or the, I think it was a, a reel, in my highlights on my Instagram, which is Andrew's world. Here is the recipe. One cup of organic sprouted pumpkin seeds. That's my water boiling in the background. Um, so I don't know what organic, well, I know what organic is, but sprouted, I don't know what that, this, this is what I'm using, okay? I picked this up from Aldi's and it's just pumpkin seeds. Then we need one cup of whole flax seeds. Um, I don't have whole black seeds, so I'm using milled 
flax seed there we go you know me I like to adapt a recipe one third cup of a sesame there we go sesame and I don't know what this is two tablespoons of what does that even say psyllium I don't know husk so and and then it says substitute with ground flax so I'm assuming that's that uh, one and a half cups of boiling water and one teaspoon of salt right preheat oven to 315 degrees uh, prep baking sheet with parchment paper mix all dry ingredients in a bowl uh, pour in boiling water and mix until combined spread evenly on a baking sheet as thin as possible top with um, everything bagel seasoning for extra flavor so you can put what you like people that's what you do and I think I need to double check on the reel because that, that was a screenshot that I took of how long it actually takes but I remember to, I think it was about 45 minutes between 45 minutes and an hour because it's at a low temperature so I'm just gonna throw all those ingredients in there measure them out so one cup of organic is my measuring cup of organic sprouted pumpkin seeds not quite a cup people and I don't have any more so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna top it up with these mixed seeds you see me I just adapt people it doesn't bother me okay so I'm just adding there we go, adapting with the mixed seeds, which also have um, pumpkin seeds in them. One cup, and I'll just pour that in there. I'm going to turn on my oven to about 176 Celsius. There we go. That's that one. One third cup of sunflower seeds, and they go. One whole cup of uh, flax seed, supposed to be whole flax seed. I'm using ground or milled, whatever, because that's all I've got. So in it goes. One third cup of sesame, in that goes. And then it's supposed to be that ingredient there, which I don't have, and I'm gonna use chai seeds instead, because <laughs> that's what I wanna use, people. So that was the tablespoon, no, two tablespoons of the chai seeds, which was supposed to be whatever that other stuff is. And then I'm going to add some salt. I'm going to add plenty of salt because they need it. There we go. A wee bit more. Here we go. Mix it up. Now I'm going to add one and a half cups of boiling water. In fact, I'm going to add some black pepper some aniseed to them as well for flavoring so you can basically add anything you want for flavoring okay so that's everything in there I'm just gonna go in with one and a half cups of boiling water and there we go try not to burn myself people Okay, so that's the consistency and I'm just going to spread it onto the baking sheet now on greaseproof paper. Okay, there we go. That's it all spread out and ready to go in the oven for about 45 minutes. Okay. So that's in the oven. And whilst that's in the oven, I'm going to go and sort out my empties. I think I'm going to sort them out, see what's going on with them. Oh, we've not had a headband on today. Oh, I did. I had one on when I was... Um, Hold on, let's get, let's get you on this. Here we go. It's actually too warm in here for the jumper. Let me take the jumper off for now. Oh, but it's cosy. Now, oh, now that I've got used to it on, well, it's really a cosy jumper. I'm oh, sorry to all on. Did I take the label off it? So warm and cosy and soft and all of that. Oh, no, I don't want to knock my fringe back. Natural lighting we have now. Okay, so I'm going to have to move my laptop from here get rid of everything that's on my desk because I can't even move the let's see if I can oh I'll show you in a minute I can't even move it as it is so I'm going to move all the rubbish off of here what day is this my diary I always keep my diary open I'm such such a full full diary people 
<laughs> it's because I forget to write things in. Um, oh no, that's to, that's what are we? Yeah, mm, the fourteenth. Okay, we're still on that page. <laughs> ah, dear me. Right, let's move everything off. Can we see it's powered up high? I mean, I've already pulled some stuff. Can we see there? Yeah. How? I mean, I cannot move it because everything's going to tip over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay everything out on my desk and try and kind of have it in some sort of order. You know, like nails, skin, hair, that kind of thing. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realise that. <laughs> oh, man. And then I'm going to go and break my fast for my two eggs, which I'm thoroughly looking forward to. Okay, that's it all ready for filming. Chef has shouted me down, have you checked your thing? Can you not check my thing? I was in the toilet. Right. Okay, okay, that's about 40 minutes it's been in for. That's how it's looking. I think I'm going to leave it. Oh, it feels very... Uh, Ow! It's hot. It feels hard anyway, but I'm going to leave it in. The full... Thing. Let's break my fast. Fun dabby doozy, people. Fun dabby doozy. Well, let's just leave it in for the full time and um, cut some bread. Let's cut some bread. Let's cut some bread. Well, I come from the other side. No, you're fine. So, mm -hmm. the last you <laughs> to film me cutting my bread because I can't cut bread and hold the camera. Look. He's been at this already, haven't you? Yes. Yes. Oh, I see why you were asking me if you should go to the other side. No, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Do you want some butter? But I want some butter. I'm yeah. going to put butter on it. Good. I'm going to toast it. Plus, I'm going to have some vinegar. Okay. You're going to fry me some eggs? You're going to fry me some eggs? Are you gonna fry me eggs? How Just fry me some eggs. <laughs> How rude! No, please, or nothing. Would you fry me some eggs, please? Right. Let's fry have some vinegar. Some hmm. It's frying me some eggs. What do I not like about my eggs? Don't like them crispy. I don't like a, a crispy bottom. Cheers. Uh, so my eggs are so far frying in olive oil. And there's no other way. There we go. Okay, finished eating the eggs, and the bread was delicious. Then I had a chocolate an almond thing, you know, those things that I make. Now I'm having another coffee, looking at all my empties. So I need to decide, do I film the empties? <coughs> I need to organise my book cupboard, because I don't have any space for my boots, my new boots. That's already cram-packed with boots. <coughs> I'm thinking of taking one of the shoe racks from one of the other cupboards. I'll replace it, but for now, so I can reorganize my boots and bring it in here. So I've got a shoe rack in the bottom of my wardrobe and I've got a shoe rack in the next room. So that's what I'm thinking to do. So <laughs> this is what's going on. Oh, it's crazy. I've obviously been trying to find some boots and pushed all of these out the way and they've all fallen. So I'm going to get this done because it's this is just too crazy for me. That's what I'm going to do just now. I'm going to organise this. So here's my uh, shoe rack. It's one of these extendable ones. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but this will probably be used right at the back for things that I'm not using as much. So, let's go through the bits. Pre-mark. These are the new look boots. Now, I really love these 
boots. I hate the size of this. I've always meant to go to a cobbler and see if I can change the height of this, if they can maybe cut it or replace it. Because I love the actual boot. When I first got these from New Look, they were stinking. They really smell horribly. But I cannot walk in these. They are far too high for me. But I really, really like them. I love where they cut and they look really nice with skirts and dresses as well because of where they cut. So, yeah. We have these ones here my most worn boots these are from these are from june june dune whatever you call it again these are like an everyday boot that i have worn lots love these I've had these rehealed and everything because i love them so much they're actually suede there we go worn the hell out of them don't date that style of boots just a classic I have my Stuart Weitzman boots, another pair of boots that I have worn lots, love them. My one and only pair of Uggs and I truly wear these, they're not a fashion thing for me, they are when it's snowing, I wear these in the snow even though they're suede. Um, yeah, they come out when it's cold, when they're needed basically they are definitely not a fashion thing for me. My... These are from Zara boots that I really, really love. Again, another boot. I'm just trying, trying to touch on these. They've got like a tweed effect on them. Can we see that? I love these. Worn these lots and lots as well. Again, just a classic. That reminds me, I've got boots in there as well. I've got my Christian Louboutin ones and my Zara ones from Mango. Zara, sparkly Zara ones, come out kind of Christmas time, tassel ones from Dune, again suede, fluffy ones from Dune, again suede, like a platform on them. <laughs> These are my shoes that I wore when I was pregnant with Costa, he was born in February in the winter, they stopped me from sliding everywhere. I remember them, they were really expensive when I bought them. Ramika top dry boots. I still wear these. <laughs> but yeah, I was kind of wobbling everywhere when I had Costa. So it was for safety reasons. I didn't care what they looked like, but actually I really like them. These are, I think I'm going to bin these. They're done. I had them in black and I binned them and I think these are going the same way, actually. Because they need rehealed and don't know. Zara ankle boots. I find these really hard to wear. Mini fake Uggs from Primark. Kind of a cowboy boot from Dune Leather. Years old. <laughs> there we go. Oh man, where did I start this? Casual boots, pre-mark. I would even wear them for walking lily. Mark suspensers. I've hardly ever worn these. I find them really, really hard to wear or match with anything every time I put them on. And they're not the most comfortable either. I'll zip them up and tidy them up. Over. Again, Dune. They were Dune as well. These ones were Dune as well. Dune. I used to buy all my boots from Dune. There we go. Suede. I think these were River Island. Do we think I have too many boots, people? I th I'm sure I've done this video before for showing my boots. Dune metallic boots, kind of a witchy front, remember? Because we used to wear the flares, so they look really nice coming out of the long flared trousers that we used to wear. Cowboy boots, top shop, and another over the knee River Island. Man, 
and I found some hooks and I've also found some shoe replacement things. I might replace those boots with that actually, right, leave them there. Okay. Let's get it organised now, then we get a duster first and then we'll reorganise it, will we? So here we are so far, so I've just put in all the least worn ones at the back and yeah i've got my white ones there so i can just reach to the corner my uggs and yeah okay there we go so so far thank goodness me put the shorter ones there and then i can layer up my new ones here and then I've still got these ones in here so these are all my designer shoes and these were quite dear when I got them and I really really like them they're starting to scratch at the bottom there uh, so that's my tweed ones and then somewhere I think they're at the back here I have my Christian Laboutin ones look at that I remember these being really comfortable by the way so yeah, and the reason I have ankle boots in Christian Louboutins because I used to wear a lot of kind of trousers in the evening and the boot dressed them up, wanted like a designer boot to dress them up. Those were the days, my people, those were the days. Right, now let's put away on my new ones and I've left the front space here for my new ones because I know because they knew that's the ones I'm going to reach for and then all my latest ones from Rita Ora. So my cow cowboy ones, there we go, my wedgie ones, there we go, they look absolutely amazing with this dress. And there's still more people, there's still more. My brown ones to match my coat and my black ones and I haven't bought the other one through. So let me tidy these up in there, but I've got enough space for them. There we go. So I put these two pairs of the Rita Ora ones hanging up as opposed to the here because that kept toppling over and yeah. So there we go. And that's the other two, the Rita Ora ones there. So that's my boots all organised once again. Now for this because that's what I was storing on the... Uh, shoe rack so let's organize this i'm going to get rid of some of these shoes like these for example see i look at them and then i go actually do you know what it's really nice but seriously when am i going to wear that and look at that it's not going to happen is it it's quite dusty so these are going to go in the charity bag for somebody else to enjoy and so are these uh, I might keep these because I don't have a closed blue shoe just in case I'm in need of a blue shoe so I'll keep the blue ones I'm gonna get rid of them there we go that'll do for now and I don't need a shoe rack it's actually better like that because this is where I keep my longer things so yeah all oh, this all needs to get organized as well a lot of things I need to get rid of and here's the pile for the charity bag right whilst I was in the wardrobe I've pulled some more things out so one is this off the shoulder top which is too big now and falls off my shoulders and let's face it I've got enough jumpers now to keep me going uh, this long cardigan sleeveless cardigan get rid of this as well it's not really my style yeah don't think I've ever worn this. Um, what was this? Oh, another one of these long sleeveless things. These are great. So if you want to wear leggings and things, I think this is when I started getting menopausal and my stomach was bloating. So if you kind of wear whatever you want in this over it. So if you wear tight leggings, this disguises a multitude of sins over the leggings. But I'm not wearing things like that. I suppose you could wear this over a bikini or a swimming costume as well so it kind of three buttons 
sleeveless thing. Anyway, and this jumpsuit thing as well. Very Balmain vibes. I think I've worn it once. Um, I'm not going to wear that again as well. So that can go in the bag with the shoes. It feels really, really good that it's done. Right, let's go and see what Chef's up to. Oh, what are you up to, Chef? Uh, the boxes are open. There we go. This is a vegetarian curry. It's made here for the vegetarians. He's taking that with him. There we go. And for us, he has bought, what have you bought? Clams. Clams, yum yum. What are we having with them? Clams. Just bread. clams? How am I going to fill up on clams, huh? Clams and bread. Oh, I can't have any more bread. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'm not just, no, you need to make me something else. I'm not, I'm not going to fill up on chips. clams. I'm not having chips either. Right. I need a glass of wine. I'm going to have some Pinot Grigio organic for filming and then I'm going to take my lily and then I'm going to upload this vlog my people. Okay, finally I'm going to sit down, ooh, 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 headband and do my empties. <sighs> I've literally not stopped today honestly and see my watch. Let's see, I mean it's like 171 active calories if i don't work out apparently i don't burn any calories according to my apple watch <laughs> unless you set it on a workout a specific workout and i am when i tell you I, this is me sitting down this is me sitting down so you have followed me all day and i've still to go and walk lily but i'm gonna put that in as a <laughs> people it's the uh, battle, right? It's a, I, I'm besotted with this dress. Honestly, I know I have spent a lot on the Rita Ora collection, but there isn't an item that I've bought that I don't love. I mean, you've watched me. I've cooked in this today. I've cleaned the cupboard in this today. I feel as if I'm not wearing anything. <laughs> you know what I mean. Anyway, cheers. on the organic a Pinot Grigio. Right, let's do this and stop putting it off, shall we? Let's. So look who decided to surprise us today. <laughs> Never even thought to tell his mum he was coming through, did you? Oh, well, it surprised you. <laughs> <laughs> it was a surprise. So I was, I was in the middle of filming and I could hear commotion downstairs and I thought, oh, that must be George and Ruth arriving and I came out of the room, I stopped my filming people, I stopped my filming, came out of the room and who was standing there? Have a look, hee <laughs> hee! So he's here, he's here to um, house. I need to go to the house. Alright, okay. As well, but yeah, I said something for George. Also you'll come back and, and we need to get a bed as well <laughs> for his new house because that bed in there is his bed. He actually paid for that bed, that one there. So, mummy needs to buy him a new bed. I don't forget to use it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna use it. So he is gonna stay here tonight, tomorrow, because, should we say this now? Would it be okay? I think it'll be okay. Um, George and Ruth are surprising Georgie with a trip to Disneyland Paris. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm going to share the footage on the vlogs. They're going to, I asked her to film Georgie when they actually tell her. So they're going to tell her as soon as she wakes up Monday morning that she's off to Disneyland. So that's that. So that was a nice wee surprise for me. My baby's home. So I'm going to now try and get this vlog up. I'm missing Strictly. Strictly's on at the moment and I'm missing that. So I'll probably need to watch it on catch up. So I'm going to bid you all a good night thank you for being here with me i've just finished filming the empties cheers and um i'll see you on the next one or maybe here and here we don't normally get that in the vlogs do we here and here and if you're not subscribed it's the a right here and all that jazz cheers happy weekend people